Thanks. You know, how often have you done this? You go to the coffee shop or a restaurant, you get your smartphone, your laptop, and you go, ah, free Wi Fi. Great. What's the code? I'm in. Everything's good. Maybe not. Scott Schaefer with Blade Technologies is here to talk about free Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. Scott, first, good morning. Thanks for morning. being here. Sure. You think that if it's in a public place, mm -hmm. but this restaurant, they wouldn't lead me astray. Of course, free Wi Fi is fine. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Absolutely. It looks free. It's always good, right? Yeah. Not always the case. Really? You have to watch out with free Wi Fi, the kind you don't have to put your password in. Okay. It's basically just transmitting across the air, not encrypted. There's not a lot of protection for you there when you're typing in passwords, credit card numbers, and so on. So you need to be really cautious when you go to the Starbucks, the McDonald's, or, or whatever to use that free public Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. It's great to check the news, check the Fox to websites, so on and so forth. Yep. But to do like heavy duty financial transactions, I probably wouldn't do that. Emails? Emails, yes, pretty much. You don't want to want to go through and log into multiple different accounts and these sort of things. Best practice is always if you have an important email, you don't want to have any chance of it getting away from you, you can always compose it offline and then send it when you're connected to a trusted network. Good idea. I know you've got some tips to talk about mm -hmm. this so we protect ourselves, so let's right. get going. Well, absolutely. A few things that you always want to look at doing. Uh, you always Always want to assume that anything going across the wire is being captured by someone. It's easy to do. It's just a radio signal, just like we pick up radio in our cars, so on and so forth. People can grab this data, and if it's not encrypted, okay. Another thing is you always want to secure your files. Now, if you have to use public Wi-Fi often, yeah, and you have to do it for work or in your airports or so on and so forth, you may want to consider having your file system encrypted. Right? There's all kinds of different ways you can do that. Don't need to go into that this morning, but you can just take a look on what type of encryption is available for you. That's a good way to do it. Okay. Obviously, as we talked about, credit cards. Numbers, passwords, nothing like that. Don't ever do those sort of things when you're on a public Wi Fi site. Right. It's okay at home, just yeah, it's not okay. in a free Wi Fi. Or, or at work where you actually sure. trust it. All right, and turn off your wireless. That's an easy one. When you're not using it, turn it off. Because one thing you're going to find in most devices, once you connect to a network, let's say called KTVI, the next time it sees the same network called KTVI, it wants to connect to it. Mm -hmm. And it could be a rogue. It could be somebody with the name, like you always see the one downtown. Free Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. that's a rogue one. There's all kinds of different ones you need to look out for, too. If you're in a hotel, let's say in a Hilton, mm -hmm. and you see an access point that's Hilton, maybe slightly spelled incorrectly, mm -hmm. that could be a rogue as well. When you connect to it, they can catch some of your personal information. If it says H-Y-L-T-O-N, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you got to watch out for that. <laughs> Scott Schaefer. Very sneaky. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, man. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure as well. Randy, back to you. Thank you so much, Protect gentlemen. Coming up at 8 o'clock, the Soul Patrol kept her from taking the title on American Idol, but she's found more success after the show. Ahead, how Catherine McPhee is now using her singing to save lives.